family friends. So I'm here for another Mojo card and I pulled, if you watched the last video, recycling turns things into other things, which is like magic. Create something new using only recycled materials. And I was so excited to do this because look, I have a beer box. So the story behind this is my husband left this empty in the fridge and I was like, hey honey, you're out of beer. And he goes, yeah, I know. I left that for you. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, you could use that for your junkie journals or whatever you do. I was like, hmm. So I kind of like, thought, ah, look at it though. There's, you know, the little slots and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. But then I was like, mm, yeah, let's try it. So we're gonna make a junk journal out of a beer box. So here we go. This is what I did so far. I cut it up. So I used the sides for this part, as you can see. <clears throat> and then when you um, open it up like this, flaps and stuff and then if you carefully just take it apart I'll show you what else I did so let's see I used I don't know where I got the square oh yeah the handles here so there's the handle and I thought I'd make a little uh, like a window or a charm or something I just cut some holes there so Actually, these came apart. There's actually, see how you can tear it apart, and there's two. How are you guys today? I'm really excited to um, do this project. Um, I love to recycle, use stuff that um, we have on hand. So that's that part. And then I took this part here I thought that would make a cool stencil so I just added some more holes with my hole punch and then I used the holes and glued them on because I thought I'd make a cool little texture uh, stencil and then as I was cutting up like the insides here um, I decided to make some frames you can use them then I cut some more holes for the sides and stuff as stencils or texture you could put that on like for a texture and then any other flat pieces I'm like you know you can glue them together and make charms so I did that with those square pieces I tried to use every inch of the the box that I could and then I decided to make charms. So I basically did my whole punch and glued several layers together. I kind of left that open. Thought that would be cool to leave the recycling symbol there, but yeah, you could either use them as charms or you could glue them down and use them as a texture for your cover. And so Backstory, this is my husband's favorite beer. He's from Northern Ireland and he's only been in this country for about 10 years. And this is really the only beer he drinks. I like um, Guinness, it's a dark beer. But um, maybe I'll have to do a junk journal for a Guinness box. But anyway, so the other night, my husband says, hey, you wanna see my beer patch? And I was like, what? <laughs> so he had taken this off of his beer bottle and put it on his arm. He is so hilarious. If you've known any Irish people, they're always full of jokes and he never fails to make me laugh. And then I thought, well, we'll just use these. We could cover them up, you know, you know, recycle the whole, the whole prompt of this card is create something new using only recycled materials. So I thought I'd make a complete junk journal out of this beer box. So follow along with me. I hope you are inspired if you have a box. It doesn't have to be a beer box. It could be a soda box or any kind of drinks box. You know, oops. 
but it really gives you some interesting possibilities. So my thoughts were I really loved the arch, kind of looks like a house. And I had forgotten about these two pieces because I had misplaced them somewhere. So as you know, I was gonna use these as little tags. I'm gonna put a little picture or something in there, do some stenciling on the cover, do some picture frames, maybe make some tags, charms with these, or I can build it up, say if I, this is my cover, I could Mod Podge it on or whatever, use texture paste. I'm probably gonna try and make my own texture paste. But anyway, so for a second, I forgot about these two pieces. And also in uh, staying with the prompt to use all recycled materials, I got some book pages. And the other day I've been playing around with just papers and stuff. So I glued two book pages together and just painted on them. I was using uh, yellow ochre as my main color and then I added white and black to create a monochromatic color palette. So I just glued two pages together to make three signatures for the journal. And then um, I had some other papers. I was messing around with stencils. So I pretty much created some signatures uh, for the journal. And we can do a flip through of the pages later. So these were my thoughts so far, is to have the journal like that and do an open binding, like a tab binding. And then maybe put uh, a window feature with the picture in the middle. But I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. I don't have a lot of um, digitals. I was trying to, not that they're that expensive and easily to get, I was trying to really just kind of make my own. I don't know, I haven't figured out the cover yet. But then I found, I was like, oh no, I forgot the sides. What am I gonna do with these? Because for a couple days I've been working on this. So then I was like, hmm, if, what if I bent them like this, let me get some tape to kind of, sorry if you're out of screen there. So what my thoughts were, get some washi tape here. If I did a little hinge here, sorry, let's move this out of the way. Like this. Oh, we can just do it like this. Okay, so that's like a hinge. I think, and then this is going to be my spine, this part here, and what did I do with the other side, oh, it's over here, that's not sticking very well, I love washi tape, but sometimes it just doesn't stick for the moment. Do that, here's the spine, and then we'll add this one to here. And we'll just, just take this for a second as the spine. Okay, so I got that. Then we got our signatures here. Fold this in. So it'll be a chunky, I like chunky journals so that you can like, like that, right? Okay, but then I was like, hmm, kind of want to do a hidden spine. So if I just, pull this back out. So the signature's on to just this one. So them here and then glue this behind like that and have this come in, it's so fiddly. But we'll go ahead and build this together at least. Okay, so there's that, right? And I kind of like the fact that it'll stick out and I was gonna like grunge it up and kind of tear the edges. I'm not really sure, we'll work on that together. But then I thought, okay, so if I have a hidden spine here, I could have a little pocket. 
on the spine. So those are my thoughts. I'm not sure how far we'll get into this video. I may make it a two-part video where we will build the journal and think about things and then see what the time is because sometimes watching, I like watching long videos, process videos. I'm not sure how you all feel about it, but um, I don't know. I just like to watch people create, so that's just me. Anyway, what do you guys think? And then, okay, so then there's the signatures. So this is the kind of like flip out, right? And then I was thinking with the, where did my little window picture frame thingies go? Okay, so I thought maybe we could put a feature here with the picture frames or when it flips out, we could have it on the inside. So my thoughts were great until I realized, A, it's gonna be a chunky journal, right? What about the closure? You know what I mean? So if I hinge this, do like a hinge binding, or maybe I could just do some eyelets and tie it together, like put an eyelet here, an eyelet here, and then tie it loosely so that you could flip it out, right? That seems, that method seems pretty cool, right? But then, I like closures. If I put a closure here, then how is it gonna flip out, you know? So I'm kind of stuck on that. Or I could just put the binding here or whatever, the ribbon or closure just on the outside, you know, and not, and just put the hole here. But then, yeah, and then just have the strings that go on the outside, okay. Well, let's just start with this first, guys, and um, hopefully this catches your interest, and I hope this encourages you to use what you have to recycle, even if it's just for painting or, like, these cardboard bits are fun if you put some gesso on, of course, maybe you already know this, and you can just paint on it if you don't have any cool paper, but anyway, let's get started. So I think the first thing I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sew, well, the thing is we need to think about the inside because if you do, I've realized making a few journals now, when you sew these in and then you open them up, you've got this showing. So I'm thinking I should probably paint or put paper down for the binding. There, at least this part. And since I have some several colors going on, I like the yellow ochre and I like this like greeny blue. Well, anyway, here are some of the signatures. Coffee dyed papers. This is going to be kind of a flip out paper. And then, oh, hello, Eris. I was really happy with this. This is kind of like cheap watercolor paper. So I was going to do kind of this cool, fancy, um, pocket. Anyway, Eris has come for my daily visit, so I will probably pause the camera so that I can give him attention, and then we will get started with these signatures. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a few minutes. Okay, lovelies, I'm back. So, as we were talking earlier, I was going to do the um, signatures in here first, so I could have a um, hidden spine because when I was first thinking I was just going to do a tab binding but then I forgot these pieces and I wanted to use the whole box. So I got everything ready for that and then I realized I don't have anything, you know, if I start this then I'm going to have to worry about the covers and after I've done a few journals so far, you know, you kind of get used to the steps that you should probably think about first before jumping in because I don't know how many times I've gotten into putting a journal together and I'm like, darn it. I should have done this first. So, as I was playing with the cat and wiping all the cat hairs off, <laughs> I thought about it. So, what I'm going to do is I have some book paper. No, it's not vintage. It's just from a book that I didn't really like. I thought I would glue these down, and then I would take some gesso and some instant coffee and paint them. 
on the inside covers. That way there's texture there. There's a little bit of color if I don't feel like decorating it or there's already kind of a background. So I can get that out of the way. So that's what we're going to do. So here are my pieces. I am just going to use regular clear glue. I know it kind of can wrinkle, but with the texture on the pages like I'm thinking about, it won't really matter too much. Because lately I'm into texture and abstract and monochromo, monochromic, ugh. I don't know, using one color. How do I say that? Monochromatic? Is that what it's called? I don't know, guys. You know, English, yes, I don't know English very well. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I think when you get on camera, you just, you're, you get a little, I know I do. And yes, my doggies are snoring. I apologize, guys. Hopefully you can't hear them. If that bothers you, I suppose you can just fast forward. So I'm just going to glue them. I'll just let that dry. Try to make, make this quick. Or I can pause the video and just you can come back to it. I don't know. I don't know what you guys like. You guys should like give me some feedback in the comments section if you want to. But I personally don't mind watching people work, so. Okay, there's that one. So this is Riley, of course, and over the weekend he had a ticky tummy and was throwing up. He's my one Boston Terrier that has the most sensitive stomach, and we pretty much go through this every year. And now he is in his seventh year of life, and this time we did not rush to the vets. Just basically... Uh, let him fast for like 12 hours, made sure he had water, and then I fed, fed him some rice. I didn't have any chicken, but anyway, he is much better, and now he's snoring. Like, so over the weekend when he wasn't feeling too well, you know, he wasn't sleeping, and but now he's back to his snoring because, you know, if he's not snoring, I'm going to worry about him, you know. And, of course, we didn't get to do walkies today because it was raining. Uh, we needed the rain. So, we might wait till later when it dries up a little bit. Because I figured the way I was thinking, wet dogs, and then coming into an air-conditioned home, probably not good for them. So, at least later... I can at least dry their feet and stuff, and it won't, they won't be soaking wet. So, okay, so I'm just going to cut around these guys, and if you want to, you can watch me do this mess, so I'll come back so you're not, this video isn't going to be too long. All right, okay, so I did one side in both papers, okay, <laughs> but of course, we got the outside, and we really should probably figure out what we're doing on the outside before I put the signatures in. So I thought maybe if I could peel the label off, we'll see. Like, you know, you can do that sometimes. And then it's brown. And then I can worry about what to decorate it later, maybe? Because I can't commit or haven't figured out really what I want to do for the outside cover yet and that's usually how I design I kind of design as I go because I always end up changing my mind when I think I have it figured out so do you guys create that way sometimes most of the time so anyway there and then there's that and we could use that for something too later or we'll just maybe use it for the so I'm going to go ahead and peel the backs off so I don't have to worry about the cover. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. So you have to kind of be careful when you're peeling that off because you can get it pretty thin. But I'm sure 
So here are my scraps. We're gonna try and use these in the junk journal because I really wanna use the whole box. So we'll see what we can do that. Do with that. So my thoughts are gesso. Um, gesso is a great primer. Maybe you know or do not know, but um, so I'm gonna use some gesso and I'm gonna use some instant coffee because um, I love the color of coffee and I didn't really want to fiddle with mixing brown or lightening up a brown or I don't know. I just want to try this. So I'm going to get some gesso, get it open. I don't, you know, I probably, oops, need to get some. Well, I was thinking I really need to look up a recipe for texture paste or something. But we'll just use what we have, right? That's the fun of everything. So let's, of course there's cat hairs on the palette, always. Okay. I'm going to put some gesso. Start there. And some instant coffee. Ha ha ha, let's see what happens. Um, okay, stop there. Plus it'll give it some texture and then yeah, it'll smell like coffee, won't it? Yeah. Don't know, you guys are trying this for the first time with me. Um, I actually saw it. Oh, what was the name of her? I think it's called, hmm. I have to look it up. I will link her video. I watched her this morning. Uh, 25 ways to texture your paper. And she added coffee, ground coffee to her texture paste. I don't really have any texture paste. This could turn into some texture paste. Or I really just wanted the color and if little sandy bits get in it, cool. So if I mush it down, it might dissolve, right? Because they're flakes, they're coffee flakes. But isn't that color cool? And it smells really good. Mm. I don't really smell the paint, I do smell the coffee, so. All right, so let's check this out. Let's see, we are going to, um, I always like to use my big brush here. So here we go, guys. Let's see what happens. Ready? Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's pretty. Um, does look like a mocha. Well, I don't know, that's pretty. I suppose. Mm. Smells so good, you guys. I'm telling you. Smells so good. Riley woke up. No, I'm just kidding. He just hears me talk. Anyway. Cool, guys. Because, you know, you can add color paint to your gesso, right? Yeah. I just thought... Oh, I'm hoping this matches my... Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess matches. It's a neutral beigey color, kind of. I was thinking out loud to myself, is it going to match my signatures? Let's see. Ah, not too bad. But anyway. So we'll let this dry. And it's already bubbling under there because of the glue, but hopefully we can flatten that out and it'll see the, do you see the wrinkles? Yeah. Well, that's how we learn. Maybe you guys knew that already. That's okay.
guess I don't have to have it all to the edges, huh? I could have just kind of swirled it a little and framed the edge. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, we'll see how that is, see if I need to maybe add some white or something or just leave it alone, keep it simple, right? Keep it simple sometimes. Okay, be right back again. Okay, so the gal that I uh, saw a video today, her name is Marami Small Art. And it's, uh, if you go to her playlist, it's under Mixed Media Texture. And then the video is 25 new ideas for how to get texture. So, um, boy, did she have some cool ideas. And so that's where I got the coffee and just so idea. So that is not my own idea. All right, so it is mostly dry. So I'm gonna start on the signature. We've got this for the back, which I'm not gonna worry about right now because I really don't know what I wanna do with it. So we'll set these aside and they can continue to dry. And we'll use these bits to somehow. So I did prepare my signatures. What did I do? Yeah, that's my first one. I don't know if you guys do this. Do you number? So I lightly number what signature goes. So there's one, two, and three. And the reason I do that is because I have made a mess of my signatures. So I went ahead and made this little template. Is this the side I want to do? Only because, I guess it's because I'm left-handed. Let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? But we're gonna go with this side. Okay, so I made this template. I don't know if you guys are interested on how I how to make a template. Sometimes I make them, sometimes I don't. So I just fold my paper and I fold and I fold because if the measurement of this section isn't in, in even numbers on the ruler, just forget it. My brain just, my brain doesn't do math very well. And then I take a ruler and I section it off and then I put my papers down and kind of figure out where I want them, which means how far apart those dots go. So that's how I do it. And then I had to make sure because the signatures are a little bit bigger than my um, journal cover. So on each signature, I made a notch here so I know where to place, you know, so when I'm sewing it, let's take this off. I can line it up here and here. And I've learned that the hard way too. So I'm gonna start, I don't have much fancy stuff to do the signature. So this is the, oh wait, while we're doing this, let's glue this in. And I'm gonna use my fancy glue. We're gonna bring out the art glitter glue. And oh my gosh, guys, tip of my pen fell off so I had to bend it over <laughs> so I wouldn't lose it so far I have not lo lost it so I stick it in my little I don't know styro whatever you call those things styrofoam you know you get into packaging the styrofoam things so to make sure this doesn't come off I'll use my fancy glue and usually I should know if this is top or bottom, so I forgot to do that. Let's just double check. I suppose it's gonna be fine. But you know, I say that and then I'm like, oh darn it, the holes aren't lining up. And nope, they're not lining up. Woohoo! So let's turn it around. Okay. And if they don't line up this time, we're just leaving it. Yep, that is much better. Okay, so now for this, I use my little um, foam thing. And yes, I have a little, my poke. I do have a pokey tool, but it's not actual. Uh, here, let me show you. Well, it said all on it, but look, it's a big needle. 
Can you see that? And it actually has a string and you can actually do like leather work, but it makes the holes really big. So I don't really use it. So I just go back to my trusty sponge and I usually just put these off to the side because if I lay them down, then I am going to lose my needles. And I know it's probably dulling my needles and all. Um, okay, so this is what I do. Go on my side. I have my template here, my paper template. Actually, I do it on the other side. <laughs> okay, so what I do first is I get my first hole and I just use a this, whatever you call it, a push pin. So I make sure this is lined up on my, and I do my middle hole first on the outside, okay? Then I turn it over so that I can be all, I stick my little pen in there and my pen in the middle so I can at least line the paper up right. So now I just go in and do that. So this is how I do it if I'm measuring and being careful. Um, and there we go. Remove this. Let's think about this because I have sewn my signatures in the wrong order before and that's devastating. All right, so I use beeswax to coat my thread because I like to use all six strands and this is cheap embroidery thread that I have a lot of it. So I might as well use it before I, um, buy more, right? I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah, I was just going to show you if you're interested. So this is how I, I just put a little bit of beeswax on my embroidery floss thread, whatever you guys call it. Okay. And then I get my needle. And I use all six, like I said, because this is cheap and it breaks on me. I've had thread break on me. Okay. Needle is threaded. I should probably poke holes on this, huh? Be a good idea, wouldn't it, guys? Okay. So, poke our hole there. There. I should do all of them while I'm here. Okay, put that back, have my signature. Let's make sure there's the number one. Okay, we're gonna go on this line, right? We're gonna go from the back, middle, middle. So this is the three hole pamphlet stitch. It's really the only stitch I know to use. And I'm sure the other stitches are quite simple. Let's just do this. Ah. Okay, let's just, let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's just bring it through. Leave a tail, right? Make sure we're, okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so. Usually I go up, but I kind of might want to leave some string at the top maybe for something like a charm dangle, which I have never done on it. Well, I've done a little one on the little mini journals I've made. Okay, let's make sure we're going through the right hole. Let's pull this. I won't torture you with the other two signatures, but maybe you like to see me struggle or, you know, have a little laugh, it's fine. 
I'm married to an Irishman. I've had to learn to toughen up. So if you guys are giggling away, great. That makes me happy. All right, so we're going to, let's see. Now we're gonna go down the middle and make sure it's on this side of the, there we go. Oh, gotta get on the other side. Think. Yep, okay. Right. So maybe you know this, maybe you don't. I will say it anyway. Your string has to be one on this side of the string, one on the left side of the string. Pull tight, double check. Okie dokie. And then you want to do a square knot, which I think is left over right, and then right over left, or something like that. Okay, there's one done. Let's make sure right side, that's number one, that's number one, and it's in the first side. So now I've got a long thing to play with if I wanna do a dangle thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew those in and not torture you guys to death. I will be right back. Okay, my friends, so here we are. So I realized it's a pretty big gap between my signatures. Well, this is gonna be my journal, so it'll be a good test. That's okay, because I like to work chunky. I don't know, we'll see. So I went ahead and taped the back, because I wanted to try and do a dangle or something. Have you guys ever used like medical tape? It's kind of cool. I think it's a little bit cheaper than washi tape, but you can color on top of it. So anyway, so we'll just go with it. Yes, it's big. Look at that. But we'll see what happens. I'll just stick this in the middle here for now. Okay, so we have this. Now we just can, my thoughts are, is I wanna put this on here somehow. Let's just do this. I wanna put this on here. Obviously it's a hidden spine, but I also wanted to make it a pocket. So, you know, you could stick something in there. Or, where did they go? These little, you know these things that come off of like, um, can you see it? Here, here's my rag. You know the little hang your doofer thingies? I don't know. Thought it might be cool if we put one on here, like that, and then you can hang your dangles on it. I don't know, I'm gonna try it and see. So I'm gonna glue this on, it's kinda already sticky. Um, glue this on, so I'm gonna do that next. So basically, we'll just do this. Okay, this is pretty much on here, but let me just, we'll just double, double check and make sure there's no cat hair in here. See guys, another fun fact, I like to crochet, but I don't sell any of my crochet stuff because I have too many animals and too much cat hair, dog hair. Not that the Boston's really don't shed, but. Right, so we're gonna keep that. I think that seems pretty. We should tug on it. Okay, let's put this pin back in the glue. Okay, so we're going to, I'm wondering, I should probably, so what I'm gonna thinking is I'm gonna glue here, here, and here. Then I'm gonna use some of that medical tape and tape it because then you can at least color on it. Because I have all these cheap, I don't really have any cool washi tape, honestly, so. Okay, let's do it, shall we? We're doing it. So this will be a good prototype if I like the way this journal comes out. Um, and if I have to adjust the size or the spacing of the signatures because they're too wide then I will probably make another one. Okay. 
open this like this. And make sure it lines up over here before it dries. Oh, we better put the tape on it before I start messing. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we need to use some different glue because that has paint on it. I do have some tacky glue. Get this on before I lose the needle. Shall we try some of this tacky glue? Paper, fabric, and ribbon. And also because I have it on this surgical tape stuff, maybe that's why it's not sticking. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, you know what would be better than this? I used, because I'm thinking, you know, we got to use all of the, well, I, my goal was to use all of the, oh, let me let's just glue this. We can take it off if we need to. We can't find it. Okay. That's bothering me. You know those little window tag, tabby things? that I made. Maybe they fell on the floor. I'll find them. Okay, and I even put a T there so I knew which was the top of the journal. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm actually gonna, cause that coffee smells good. I'm gonna go make some coffee, let that dry. See if I can find those tabby thingies. I think you'll know what I mean when I show you. I don't know what I did with them. Anyway, that might be cool. I don't know. You think that's too wide? Well, I'll just make sure I just chunk it up real good. All right, you know what? Let's put some tape down on here. Okay, let that dry for a bit. Find that little tabby doofer thingy I was looking for. And then I think I'm definitely going to put eyelets here, I think. Stop me now, guys, so that I can do a flappy, flappy thing. Or it could just go like that. Nah, I don't know, guys, think about it. All right. Let's let that, let that dry. Ponder things a bit. Oh no. Maybe I should put some tape on the back. You think? I think so. I think you're right, guys. I think you're right. Good idea, good idea. Put some on the back. And then quit messing with it, right? And just let it dry. I hear you, I hear you. Okay. All right, my friends, I'm going to go get some coffee and we'll see you in two ticks. All right, friends, back with some lovely coffee. You guys get yourself something to drink or eat while you watch this video. Yum. All right, cheers to you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so I found these doofer thingies. I cleaned up my area and of course, I wanted to blame Eris because he was up here earlier and we were playing and stuff, but 
Nah. Anyway, so here is the signatures. This is pretty good right now. Little pocket, maybe. So, I was thinking, first I went, I don't know, let's do this, shall we? Okay. Be a cool little, like, book tag thing if we had this sticking up. Will that be too much? Like, charms hanging down. Um, because it's already kind of a chunky book. It's going to be heavy. If I do the charms and they're not too heavy, but they'd have to be long enough so that when I actually work in the book, the journal, at least it will be flat. And then, I don't know, I guess I could be creative and put something there if I needed to, like a pocket or something. But So I'm going to go ahead. I think I like that idea. Or we could put it down further and still be able to maybe clip some charms or if we do it halfway. I don't know, guys. So let's think about that. I really want to do that. Just lay it flat. I could put it at the bottom. Oh, I could do, <laughs> I could do could do one at the top and one at the bottom and do some crazy like uh, threads and stuff or something but then if we did that then it would cover the window or I could put it in the middle hmm I like the idea of where to put it <clears throat> and or I don't I could well we can only do one now nah, I like the two, then it's reinforced. Right, so now the next question is, if we're gonna do that, we might as well try it, you know? Glue it on, glue this together, but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in the middle. And then if we do that, shouldn't I be doing the back cover? <laughs> At least painting it or something. And then my thoughts are I should have done the back cover before I put the signature on in. So, I don't know. So, I'm definitely going to have to do that. I'm definitely going to do this. Now it's just what color. Should I cover it in paper? Should I paint it? Because if I get some heavy card stock, it'll probably reinforce the cover. Hmm. So, okay, while I'm thinking about that, what I wanted to do, let's let's think about that. Let's put these side bits on. We can't forget about this. These side bits here. Because I really wanted it to be like a flip out. Because it's too tall to be a pocket unless I do this. <clears throat> But I don't really like that because I didn't add it to the cover or I could sew it or mm, I'm just going to go with my original idea. So now thinking, <clears throat> should I put some eyelets here? But if I put that there, then it's going to go like that and it's not going to hinge. <clears throat> or I could do a hinge binding. And then at least I can embellish it. And there's enough space if I wanted to chunk it out and put some texture. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do tab binding. So I think I'm going to, because I don't really have any material, I'm going to use this. And if it doesn't work, then I'll know for next time, right? Right, guys? Right, right. Okay. We'll cut some strips. Mm. Just use this bowl here and put my tape there. Okay. Ah, it's crooked. Okay, so we'll leave a little gap. Can you guys see? Okay. 
We'll do... <clears throat> I feel like I need to get a ruler so it's not crooked. So when I fold it in, you know, then it'll lay. Okay, we're going for it. We're going to go for it, guys. Here we go. And then do this one here. Okay, do that, hold it, go. And now we'll do this side. guys uh, maybe out okay get some tape that needs to go up a little bit Darn it, I moved it. But, okay. Okay, there's that one. Okay, so there's that and that. And then now we'll put some tape on the back. Suppose I should just cut them all at once. What do you say? One, two, three, and four. There we go. Cool, cool. I'm liking it, liking it, liking it. Right. So we got our signatures. We got a little cool little thing up here. Signature sticking out at the end. It's chunky. It's wide. And it's just very rustic. Okay. Now back to this. So for sure I want to do this. Now, I don't know if it sticks up. And then I got my dupers here. Because I already committed to having them come down from the top, right? Because I already taped it. So then if I put that here, ooh, I could stick these through these holes. But we're back to that part where if I put dangles and it covers up this part but I could be okay with that if we put something that wasn't too I mean it could just be like a color a color block or something and not necessarily a picture I don't know let's just go for it and if it covers it up it covers it up so now hmm and we got to figure out, well, are we going to paint this, guys? Or cover it with fancy paper? Because I do have a pad of paper over 
here. Sorry, guys. I got this big pad of paper from Joann's Park Lane Papery. So, here's the thing. What to choose? What do you think? Hmm. Let's just turn our signatures over and get a vibe off of the... Okay, ooh, butterfly. Ooh, shall we do butterflies? Or, ooh, that might be cool. Okay, we got that. No, ooh, that's kind of cool too. Playing cards, there's some newspaper, music, green, no, denim, jeans, lacy, mm, no, ooh, that might be kind of, <coughs> sorry guys, so we'll keep our hand on that one. Ooh, that might be kind of cool. I didn't think I was going to have this many choices, guys. Oh, no. Ooh, I kind of like that, but that doesn't really match. There's corrugated. That's kind of cool. Ooh, there's that. The house. Mm. Why? Usually, I have a hard time picking. Okay, so we have... This one, wood, mm, don't think I like it, but nah. Or we've got this old timey vintage butterflies. Let me put my fingers here and go this way. Actually, just mark it. And mark this, that one. Let's see what we have on the back of the book. There's a map. Pink. Hmm. But then that's kind of boring, isn't it? But if I'm going to embellish on top of it and put stuff on top, like I want to, then the paper doesn't really matter. So then I'm really wasting this nice paper. You know what? Those are really cool. And I really liked some of them. I don't want to waste my paper if I'm just going to cover it up. So. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry. Let's just do some book paper. Or, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't want to pause you guys. Let's get this video done. I still got to use this. <sighs> do you guys have this problem? Indecisions. I should have just kept this on, honestly, and just painted over it, but, you know, or we could just turn it over and glue it and use it, and it kind of looks like a paper bag, or we can use book pages, again, as a reinforcement. Let's see, Bring some book pages out. I think we'll just go with the book pages. That way we're not... We'll keep that that way. And we'll just glue them and then cut around them. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll leave it like that. And then figure out what we're doing from there. All right, friends. Here we go. I apologize if you were out of um, frame the last time. But anyway, here we go. So this looks a little crazy, but what I thought I'd do is I just tear it, tear the edges like this. The glue is still kind of wet, but you know, us artists, we're kind of impatient, aren't we? Oh no, it's tearing that. Maybe we'll just, okay, we'll just go with it, won't we? All right. And then I realized I had to redo this one. It was backwards. See how it's painted on this side and painted on this side. 
Well, this side was flipped and, you know, kind of got to make it match so that when you turn it in, it's covered, right? So anyway, I am just going to tear these edges because I kind of want the raggedy edges anyway. So we're just going to have raggedy edges. Can you see it? I'm sorry, guys. Actually, let's use the Rola to do that. Okay. And do this on that side. Put that in. Come on over here. side. Oopsie. Okay, so now we got the middle bits. Maybe we'll just, how does that go? Let me see. We'll go down a little bit and tear. And tear. Cool. And tear this. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty raggedy taggedy, which is kind of cool. Let's bring these bits. Okay, so as I was gluing these down, I was thinking, we're not going to think about it too much because, you know, then you stop doing, um, you know, come up with new things. So we're just going to do it. We'll try it. If we don't like it, and, you know, we can always try it, rip it off or something. Or just whatever, right? I realized this part needs to be up here. You see that part? The ruler. We'll do this up a little bit. It's still wet. I should probably wait for it to dry, shouldn't I, guys? But, you know, there we go. And does this probably needs to be, might just leave it like that. Okay, so now we've got that for now as a base for whatever we're going to do next. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these together. Then I thought, let's just keep it simple. We could just put a book page in, but that's getting kind of boring. Maybe, 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 maybe should do like imported from Ireland or put Ireland there would be kind of cool because this is a beer box of harp imported from Ireland let's see can we get that in frame maybe we could just do this the harp uh, symbol established in 1960 okay we're gonna do that we're doing it so I should probably trace around it. Okie dokie. Let's see. What? I guess we'll do a pen. Does this work? Okay, it does. Oh, well, that was dumb because I need it to glue on the other side. <sighs> Let's try this one. <laughs> Why don't we just, um, let us just do this and this, right? Okay, because we can always cut it. Suppose we could go. Before I put this in, we should probably paint the outside. Well, first let's glue it. Let's glue it. Let's get my tacky glue back out. I guess it's a tacky kind of day. No, not really. It's a good day.
Okay. Wonder how good this is gonna stick since it's um glossy. Oh, but it's tacky glue, so it'll tack to it. Right, guys? Right, right, right. So should I just paint this like a gold? Oh, you know what? I should just use it that yellow ochre. And then I can distress it and make it look aged. Or something like that. And at least. Knowing me though, I'll put it on and then I'll come up with something. Thinking to myself, I should have waited, but oh well. That's the way it goes. And then we always kind of work around it, don't we? All right. Let's hold that for a minute. Oh, I shouldn't have glued it. I am such a dork, guys. Okay, well, let's open it up. Let's put this in. Okay, we're gonna tear it down to size a little bit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Did we do it? Did we do it? Barely. No. Oh well. It will have to do. If I don't like it, I can just put something else in it. You know, change it up. Not to worry. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you know what I could do? So I could paint over it and then I can use my stamps, which I always like to do lately over paint. Okay. Well, darn. I was too much of a hurry, wasn't I? Okay, I'm fiddling with it. I'm fiddling it. Okay, well, let's just put that cap on, put that down here, get my paint. I don't know. Oh, well, it might stay. Take a sip of coffee and we're going to keep going. Right, so let's get my yellow. What is it? Did I use yellow ochre? Yes. Not sure why, you know, it's funny how our tastes change as we grow and evolve as artists. Yellow was, never thought I would be a yellow kind of girl. Okay, I need something for water. Okay, there's that. And then I always... Keep a bottle of water in here for paint water. And we're just gonna go for it, guys. Go, go, go. All right. I should probably not paint over this, huh? There we go. That worked out well. Do this bit. And do this side. I know, I know. I should have painted it before I glued it. And I think I said that, didn't I? Oh, well. There you go. And now I think I'm going to... Hello, Matisse. Hi. Oh, what you doing? This is my other kitty, Matisse. I think she's ready for her afternoon meal. Somehow we went from feeding twice a day in the morning and around 4 o'clock. And now that I've been at home, she has been telling me that she likes to eat in the morning noon and afternoon huh oh, Matisse. 
that what you're telling me? So I'm going to try to do, although I don't know, maybe a little bit of white. There's my rag. Ooh, you know what? I got some of that coffee from earlier. I saved a bit of that coffee paint. Oh, I didn't need that much on the brush though. Okay, let's just um, dry brush some of that. I don't know how that's going to look, but hey. Okay. Still too much on there. Kind of distress it a little bit, only backwards with white or a lighter color. Okay, we'll leave it, leaving it, leaving it, leaving it, and then, <clears throat> so did we decide we're going to leave this at the top so we can put dangle, yes, we're going to do it, we're just going to do it, I like it, don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a go. Just cleaning my brush, sorry guys. I have a habit of not doing that, and then I'm forever cleaning brushes later. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so I'm definitely going to do that. We're going to try it. I'm going to let it dry for now. So guys, I think I'm going to make this a two part video. So this is going to be the first part. I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far. I hope it inspires you to <clears throat> get something out of re your recycling, a box, I don't know, a box, a drinks container, a beer box, whatever it is, guys. Have fun with it. Don't be afraid to try stuff. Obviously, you know, you spend a lot of time thinking about it. If you mess up, well, you know what? I know there are ways to work around it. So in the next video, we will decorate the cover and figure out how to put um a closure on it. Definitely going to be brainstorming what to put on the cover. I want it to be chunky and layered and distressed and kind of grungy. So stay tuned to part two guys. If you stuck with me through this whole video, I appreciate you so very much. It really means the world to me. You guys have a wonderful day and I hope you are creating and doing something creative. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.